pyramid. A vertical triangular pyramid with 70 mm edges at its base and the axis 80 mm long is resting on its base with an edge of its base parallel to and nearer the VP. It is penetrated by a horizontal cylinder 40 mm in diameter and 90 mm in length. The axis of the cylinder is parallel to the VP 25 mm above the base of the pyramid and 10 mm in front of the axis of the pyramid. Draw the projections with the curves of intersections. Adjust the scale of the mini drafter so that it matches the horizontal line of the drawing sheet. Draw a horizontal line and name it as XY. To draw the top view of the triangular pyramid, at any point below the XY line, draw an equilateral triangle ABC of edge 70 mm having one of its edges parallel to XY line as shown to satisfy the initial position condition of the problem. Draw the centroid of the triangle, that is, the point where the three medians of the triangle intersect and name it as O. Draw a 45 degree line. Now draw projector lines from ABC and O vertically to meet the XY line to draw the front view. Also, extend the projector lines from ABC and O horizontally till the 45 degree line and then extend it vertically to get RHSV. Now, let us draw the cylinder. The axis of the cylinder is parallel to the VP 25 mm above the base of the pyramid and 10 mm in front of the axis of the pyramid. Then draw a circle of diameter 40 mm. Now draw a construction line from the apex of the triangle in right hand side view such that it cuts the circle. Represent the points from 1 double dash to 18 double dash. Points 1 double dash to 10 double dash appear in the front, while the remaining are at the back. To generate the cylinder in the top view, let us project 1 double dash to 10 double dash vertically down till it meets the 45 degree line and then draw horizontal lines from it. Project the vertical projector to meet the 45 degree line and project it towards the top view. Also project vertical projectors from the top view towards the front view. Let us construct the cylinder now. For this, draw a line 45 mm on both the sides of the vertical axis in the front view, since the length of the cylinder is 90 mm. Now let us locate the points 1 dash to 18 dash in the front view with the help of the projector lines from the RHSV. Points 1 dash, 2 dash, 9 dash, 10 dash, 11 dash and 18 dash are visible in the front view. Other points are hidden. The visible lines are darkened while the lines joining the remaining points are hidden and therefore they are shown as dotted lines. Locate points 1 to 18 in the top view with the help of the projection lines from the right hand side view and front view. Points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 16, 17 and 18 are visible in the top view. The other points are hidden. Now Draw a rectangle of width 90 mm and height 40 mm which represents the penetrated cylinder.
So I hope the solution is clear to you how to draw that problem. Now next problem, example number 4. The data is given like this. <coughs> a cone of diameter 50 mm and height 50 mm stands on its base on the ground. A semicircular hole of 50 mm radius is cut through the cone. The axis of the hole is parallel to HP and VP and is 17 mm above the base of the cone. Draw the projections of the cone showing the curves of intersection if the flat face of the cone contains the axis of the cone. Steps for thinking. First, what is given here? Cone is given 50 mm by 50 mm. Base is there on the ground. Semicircular hole. It is drilled of radius 15 mm. X is 15 mm. Uh, X is PQ is there. PQ parallel to HP and VP and 17 mm above the base of the cone. This is given data. And PQ in flat face of the hole. This is given. So first how to draw the third three views of the cone that is top view would be circle, front view would be triangle. After that we have to draw the side view of the cone and in side view a semicircular hole should be drawn first. So draw this problem. So for that first we draw this top view. Top view of the cone is a circle as drawn over here. This is the top view. Now to draw its side view, its front view, let we draw this triangle like this. We should draw full triangles because after that we have to erase those lines and this half circle is given. That is a drilled hole in this cone. So to find out the points of intersection, first let me draw any line or any imaginary generator like this. Suppose I, am, I have drawn this generator over here, locate front view top view and front view of this generator. So for that draw vertical line from here, here to up to meter line and after that from that draw horizontal line. It will cut this circle at two points. One is here, another is here and join that point with the apex point or center of the circle. One is this generator, another is this generator. Right? First we have drawn just one generator in side view and in top view. Similarly draw the same generator in front view. So for that draw vertical line from these two views, join this point with this apex point. So that is it. Just we have drawn three views of this imaginary generator. Now to find out the points of intersection, let me pick up the point. One point is here, right? here is the point. So from that point draw horizontal line and that will cut these two generators at two points. One point is here and another point is here on that generator. Is it clear? One point is here, another is here. Similarly from this point draw horizontal line that will cut one point over here, another point over here. Now again the same procedure. Let me draw another imaginary generator like this somewhere here. Right? It will cut this circle at one point is here, another point is here. Similarly, from this corner we can draw a generator like this, this corner, from this corner. One point is here and another point is here. Now draw this generator. We forget about this generator, just we draw this line from here to here and here. right? So this is that generator, the generator is here. Similarly this line will cut the circle at this point also. So this is that generator. So we have drawn the top view of that generator. Now to draw the front view of that generator, draw vertical lines from here and join these points with the apex point. One line is here, another line is this one. 
right so we have drawn that generator also now pick up the points of intersection here is the point of intersection for this curvature shape that is a semicircular hole and this is the point so from that point draw straight horizontal line or transfer to the front view like this and that front view will cut and that will cut in front view at two points one point is here another is here similarly this point will cut one point is here another point is here here and here now what's about this point here this circle cuts this cone so here from this point draw straight horizontal line and this generator is this one from here here and this is that generator at the middle one right so here is the point of intersection so finally these all points are on this line so join these points with the straight line of course it would be it should be curved but here as it cuts the cone all the points would be collinear so like this this would be its front view and here this corner would be visible so from here to here it's a full line up to the end here also full line would be there like this and here at the middle this edge would not be visible the base of the semicircular hole so represent that base with the dotted line like this similarly on upper side also visibility will not be there hence represent that with the dotted line as well this is the dotted line this one so this shows the front view of this cutting portion now about top view what should we do we should employ the same analogy to find out the position of points in the top view like this here is the point here is the point so from this point draw straight vertical line that will cut the similar generator this generator at this point somewhere here similarly from here draw straight vertical line that will cut the same generator over here right from this point draw straight vertical line that will cut the generator at this point similarly from here also draw straight vertical line that will cut the generator over here so these are the points of intersection what should we do about this side so for that side also we can draw generators from here on this side with the same analogy transfer those points to the front view to the meter line and meter line to top view the front uh, the po position of the points could be found out from here to here from here to here draw the generator transfer this point to here here and so on so finally we will get all the points join all these points with a smooth curve like this this would be the curve and on this side this would be the curve so we have drawn for one side only similarly on another side also the same curve would be there so it would appear like this just the mirror image of drawn points like this and here like this after that what do you say about this edges this top view of this corner this one bottom edge so in top view this cut portion will not appear so for that let me transfer this point from here to the top view transfer this point to the meter line it will cut the meter line at here from that draw horizontal line and that horizontal line should be dotted line in this circle because that edge would not be visible similarly here also that edge will not be visible so join them with a dotted line straight dotted lines so this is the top view and in this solution you can insert the dimensions like this the height which is given to us that is 50 mm here 50 mm is the height the radius that is 15 so you should write r15 
this height that is 17 millimeter above the base and this diameter that is 50 you write 550 and three views are there front view top view and side view and I hope the solution this problem is clear to you now let me conclude our talk how to find out the solution draw the first solid as per given position locate axis of penetrating solid in side view draw penetrating solid locate points of intersection between two solids join the points with suitable lines and insert the dimensions name the views uh, draw appropriate lines dotted line center line and write scale if needed so i hope today's discussion would be fruitful to you you might have learned about the solution of the problem and next time we will continue with some more problems in the same chapter thanks to all of you